You see what I'm doing? Yeah. There's some nice switchbacking on the rock here. It's actually pretty walkable. Just swing wide out like I do. It's like a natural stairway. It's nice and easy going, actually. Ah, here we go. She being a goof. And there's the Subaru. There's the Paradox Valley. Way off in the distance you can see the DD22 road and that's the backside of the JD mine and that ridge. And there's the properties that we rode, walked past the last time. They're about a mile and a half that way. We should be able to manage to drive out there today and hopefully be able to go see some. I really want to see the shaman's panel. Damn it, I forgot the shovel. There they are. Now I'm looking for the tool marks. They're supposed to be very predominant. A little bit of high up hiking here, but it really isn't a bad go once you get on the lift. Here they are up close. Love you. How you doing? A little easier than the other one? Yeah. Okay. So you got the slight anthropomorph. There's the snake underneath it. There's what's feet. Everybody says that's feet. I think that's more of a head, but I guess it's feet because of the five toes. But the, the footprints are there. Up in here, you can see a few. Like the author of the article stated, too many people have been touching them and likely even like destroying them because they, they just, I see more over there, in fact. What I'm looking for is this is supposed to be a tooling rock where they created their arrowheads and they sharpened them. And it's the right mica material. So we're just going to walk a little bit more. And I'm going to go to the right first. I'm going to put my, my drone down because I do want to fly this eventually. But uh, I'm going to go around this way. If you go like between the trees, hun, you're gonna be a little easier angle coming up behind you. And then you can switch back over to that gentle slope. But you're almost there now. But I went up between those trees. It was a little easier walk. I'm gonna go around this way first because they're supposed to be all over this rock. You okay? Yeah. Okay. I found in the pictures so got to come around this way
doing a little bit of rock hugging here. It's not a bad hike. It's just I got to get around this tree. And there is the sharpening stones. Isn't that amazing? There were petroglyphs over here. You can see the tailings of an en uh, of an anthropomorph. Let me get up there closer. Sorry about that. I have a camera here. Next week it's going to be a lot better for this. There we go. Okay, we went out to come out to mile marker 28 on Highway 90. Then you take the right-hand trail that you see in there. And uh, anyway, I'll explain a little bit more here in a moment. So in the depression itself, and I wondered about this, you can see human. You can see another snake. This is where these strike marks are where they sharpened their arrowheads and spears and knives. They would create them out of the mica type stone like this. And sharpen them. Ta -da. And wear them down to where you could form an arrowhead. And there's the beginnings. They've used that as kind of a beginning of one. You can tell there must have been several people up here at, at one time getting these ready. There's score marks there. And like I said, you can see where people have been chipping at this. Not cool. But the strike marks here are really spectacular. This was all tool striking. All the time kind of thing. And then we have an asshole who's trying to put his own Bubba Glyph in there. Can you believe that? You know, I don't care what your fucking politics is. Yeah, the site of the ancients does not need a swastika. This is bullshit. I'm really tired of Bubba glyphs like this. They really gotta... People have no fucking understanding or no appreciation of art or history or time. These things are from 12, 1200 AD, I found out in my research. You know, some guy sat up here and carved these things patiently and lovingly to leave a story and a message to people. Now you got people coming up here with knives trying to do their own little Bubba glyphs on top of it. Because they're retards and they think they're they're being cool. It just really upsets me. Like I said, people have no appreciation of the passage of time or history. Here you can see some other petroglyphs. They had scored them into the rock, but like you know, the author of the article I found said, they're, they're really getting worn with time. So there's not much on this side. I'm gonna go around a little bit. Oh, here's some up here see where they're being but the good ones are over there on the dark staining so we're gonna go around the other side of the rock see what we can find so it gets a little trickier over here but, looks like some remnants but this section of the stone doesn't wear well. Must catch a lot of moisture. But you can see where they were pounding into it and starting things. So, and you had ceremonial, like burn rock here, like candles. It's probably a, on this juxtaposition, I can imagine a shaman speaking here. But you can see the box canyon where they hunted. They pushed that herd up in. The herd got stuck. Welcome to Slaughter Town. That explains to you how the, they handled the elk. And the goats 